All right. So, so far we've just done equal distances, right? So when they say somebody made the same trip or they went there and back, those are equal distances. Uh, for this type of problem, we're adding two distances to make a new distance. So, an example of that would be, Napoleon walked part of the 60 miles to the site of the battle and rode the rest of the way on a caisson. He walked at three miles per hour and rode at nine miles per hour. If the total time of the trip was eight hours, for how long did he walk? All right, so we have two distances, right? We're adding distance walking, he walked part of the trip, and distance riding, because he rode part of the trip, okay? And the total miles is 60. All right, so we're adding two different pieces to a total distance. So that's what our equations are gonna look like. And we always replace our distances with rate times time and rate times time. All right, so he walked at three miles per hour. What do we plug the three in for? Yep, rate walking. And he rode at nine miles per hour. What do we plug that in for? Sam. Does rate writing. Okay, total time of the trip was eight hours. That's a separate equation, right, that we write off to the side. So the time walking plus the time writing has to be eight hours. And we solve for either one of those. So I'm going to subtract the TW. All right, so TR is eight minus TW, which means I'm going to keep TW in my equation, and I'm going to replace the TR with eight minus TW. And we're going to solve it. So we get 3TW plus 72 minus 9TW equals 60. Mind like terms here, so 3TW minus 9, 9 is negative 6TW. Subtract the 72, so that's negative 12 over here and divide by negative six, and we get two hours for time walking. Always go back and make sure you answered the question. So if the total time of the trip was eight hours, for how long did he walk? So I think we actually answered the question. Normally we have to actually do something else, but time walking was two hours. All right, let's try another one. At 1 p.m., Chester left the roundup and began the 66-mile trip to Dodge City. At 2 p.m., Marshall Dillon left Dodge City to meet Chester. Marshall Dillon's speed was twice that of Chester's, and they met at 9 p.m. How fast did each man ride? Oh, that makes all more sense. Okay, we should draw a picture. Okay, so here we go. At 1 p.m., Chester left the ground and began six miles to Dodge City. All right, so one guy's leaving and heading to Dodge City going this way, and then the other guy is leaving Dodge City to meet Chester. His speed was arriving at 9 p.m. How fast did each man ride? So they're running towards each other here. And so our total distance, so we've got 66 miles total. So we've got, what, Chester and Marshall? All right, distance Chester plus distance Marshall is equal to 66. So, rate Chester times Chester, rate Marshall times Marshall equals 66. Okay. So now it says, at 1 p.m., Chester left the roundup, and at 2 p.m., the other guy left. So Chester's was 1 p.m., and they met at 9 p.m. So Chester traveled for how many hours, you guys? Eight. So I'm going to plug in an eight for time, Chester. All right, the other guy left at 2 p.m., and they met at 9 p.m. So Marshall Dillon, how many hours was that? Seven. So I'm going to plug seven in for my time here. All right, and then we have this important part that says Marshall Dillon's speed was twice that of Chester's. Who can write that equation off to the side? Ethan. Who 
we're going to use RC and RM here. Marshall Dillon, I think it's the other way around. Yeah, Leo, what do you think? Yep. Okay. So it says Marshall Dillon's speed was twice that of Chester's, right? So his has to be twice Chester. So if Chester's is 30, the other guy's 60. So he times by two, okay? So let's plug that in for RM. So RM is equal to 2RC. And then RC is here. And let's solve it. So I have 8RC and 14RC. Add those up and we get 22RC. And divide by 22. And our rate is 3. That's slow. 3 what? Miles per hour. All right? Since it's a rate, we're looking for miles per hour. All right. And then we make sure we answer our question, of course. How fast did each man ride? So the rate of Chester was 3 miles per hour. So if we come back over here and plug it in, then the rate of Marshall Dillon is 6 miles per hour. All right. You guys want to do another one? <laughs> should we try this one? Maybe we should set it up just to make sure. All right. At noon, Rocket Man whizzed off towards Rocket Land, and one hour later, Moonfa whizzed off in the opposite direction at, two, at a speed of 200 kilometers per hour, less than that of Rocket Man. If they were 11,800 kilometers apart at 5 p.m., how fast would you travel? So if you were drawing a picture, they are going away from each other, all right? Opposite direction there. So our total distance this time is going to be... 11,800 kilometers. That's how far apart they were at the end at 5 p.m. So we have Rocket Man and Moonfa. So distance, Rocket Man. I did not write this problem. But <laughs> Moonfa is 11,800. I mean, occasionally Saxon gets a little creative. Just a little bit. All right. Rate, Rocket Man, time, Rocket Man, plus rate, Moonfa, time, Moonfa. All right, so the easiest things are probably their speeds, right? Let's see, at noon, was off short, and one hour later, Mufa was on a speed of 200. All right, where does this 200 kilometers per hour go? Oh, less than that of Rocket Man. That's important. Um, let's do time, actually, first. They met at 5 p.m. Oh, this guy left at noon. Took me a while to find that one because it wasn't in 12 p.m. time. All right, so we went from noon to 5 p.m. So Rocket Man whizzed off. So how far, how long did Rocket Man travel for you guys? Yeah, so at noon he left, right? And then we ended at 5 p.m. So Rocket Man traveled for uh, five hours. So time of Rocket Man is five hours. And then it says one hour later, Moonfa whizzed off in the opposite direction. So one hour later, so how many hours did Moonfa travel for? Four hours. It has to be one hour less. Okay. And now we have to figure out their rate. So let's see. Opposite, Moonfa whizzed off in the opposite direction at a speed of 200 kilometers an hour less than that of Rocket Man. So that means the rate of Moonfa is equal to what? What? I like it. Okay. Rate of Rocket Man. Minus 200. All right. And then we would solve. Okay. You guys good with that? All right. Let's try some. 